how to connect your Daytona Twintech TwinScan 4 to your M8 Softail. Revelator Alpha. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well. So this quick video is all about this Daytona Twintech TwinScan 4, which I have. I've shown you the video of how to install the software on your PC laptop. Now I'm going to show you how you connect this to your motorcycle and then also start accessing uh, data on the uh, app on your laptop as well. Okay, so first things first, you can take off the seat, but also take off the left side cover here. And you need to access the data link connector, which is here. Now, I've got my Hex EasyCan connected to that. So I've actually got a Y spitter lead. So my Hex EasyCan is going into my actual data link connector, and there's a spur coming off, uh, which I will then connect the twin scan four to. Let me quickly show you. So that is my data link connector there, and that's what you would normally plug in your twin scan four. But I've got this Y splitter lead coming, so I'll be connecting mine to this portion here. Okay, the other thing you need to uh, look at is this fuse holder here which usually sits on top of your main fuse right there okay so what you need to do is take the cover off here there and you'll see right there there is a 7.5 amp fuse so I'm going to show you exactly what you do with that but basically you're going to take this fuse out take this fuse out Okay, so with the twin scan 4 that they send you, they will send you this harness so that you can power it all up as well. There is a fuse holder here as well. So what you do, you take that 7.5 amp fuse out and you put it in there. Then you slot this into the fuse holder. Let me show you. 7.5 amp fuse out into the holder. Now put this into the fuse holder. Now you take the data link connector part on the adapter harness and you plug it into your data link connector, like so. Done. So that is the harness for the TwinScan 4, the Daytona TwinTech TwinScan 4. That's all configured. Now all you need to do is make sure that your USB port uh, on your laptop is configured, of course, connected to your TwinScan, and then you just need to plug this portion into that harness okay like so done okay so then you need to come onto the laptop and i'm going to show you on the laptop what i'm actually looking at but you might have a few issues about connecting your laptop and your twin scan 4 to the motorcycle and i'm going to show you quickly how you overcome that so first of all turn on the ignition on your bike then come over to the laptop now, unfortunately, I can't screen record on here. It doesn't seem to be working, so I'm going to use the, the camera to show you. Okay. Okay, so just to uh, go over this again, the TwinScan 4 box is connected to the harness that comes in the kit. The an actual harness is then connected to your data link connector, and the fuse holder is then connected with a 7.5 amp fuse from the motorcycle, into the holder it also has a three amp fuse there which you just leave in there as well okay right okay so we're at the laptop here you've connected the twin scan 4 hardware to your motorcycle you've turned on the ignition as well you open up the app okay so once the app is open uh, then let's say you're going to try let's say we're going to go to diagnostics and codes you come to the bottom here you say read codes and then all of a sudden it says cannot establish com link check cable port setup and ignition is on so what's going on okay so you've done everything you should do so what you need to do then is come up to the top here communications go to port setup once you go to port setup you match the port number to what you originally set it as mine was com3 and you also put it on auto connect click ok press OK. Then go to diagnostics and codes, let's say, and you can read the codes and it will start reading it, you see, and it will find exactly what yours is. 
and then also say you know what error codes here you got if you got a few error codes you just clear the error codes if you need to or print them off uh, so that you can show uh, your dealership or your mechanic if you're not sure right so here you've got date real data uh, on the motorcycle of course just it's interrogating all these kinds of things here uh, you've got old data log charts which is nothing in there key fob security AFR tables ABS tools here you go for the soft tail uh, you can have a look at uh, here the twin scan oscilloscope configuration settings for your BCM ECM uh, activate modules so all this I'll cover on future videos so there we go, that's how you connect your Daytona TwinTech TwinScan 40 or Harley-Davidson M8 Softail. I will be doing future videos on all the other features and the functionality of this great bit of kit as well. But as you see, you know, you've got to connect it properly to your Datalink connector and also with that fuse holder as well. Make sure that 7.5 amp fuse is in there as well make sure that your port settings are exactly the same on your pc laptop i say it's taken me a while to figure out what the problem was but as soon as i aligned those port settings on the app with the actual usb port settings where you, where you stick your usb cable in everything worked absolutely fine you can clear your codes uh, if you need to you can print off the code so that you can take it to a dealership or to a mechanic to show them or do your own research as well there's lots of functionality here but this video was purely about how you actually connect it to the motorcycle right don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share and check out the website revelatealf.com and i'll catch you again very very soon cheers